Hey there everybody, I'm Ann Baldzikowski and author of Easy Artisan book and uh, we are making simple elegant recipes for the everyday cook. So today we're going to work on the appetizer chapter. It's the holiday season and it's fun to go to parties with appetizers. So something that's very easy on page five is our pesto pinwheels. So today we're working with store-bought puff pastry dough. You can get that at any grocery store. You want to try to look and make sure it's made with all butter. So two sheets in there. Here's one sheet. So when you work with puff pastry, you need just a light dusting of flour onto your work surface. Not too much because then that gets in the way of the beautiful flaky pastry. This dough needs to sit in the refrigerator for at least four hours or uh, overnight. It looks like it could have gone a little bit longer in the refrigerator. So this is what it looks like if it breaks up a little bit. Um, but I can press it back together with my fingers. So you can see some of it is, is very pliable and a little bit of it has kind of got some uh, little imperfections there. No need to worry. It's still going to work out perfectly. Okay, so I need to get this into a 12 by 12 uh, rectangle here or square so just a light dusting of flour on your surface press that down a little bit more and then the rolling pin right so start in the middle go out to the sides start in the middle go out to the, the side on the right side side on the left and then you always want to be able to pick up your pastry swirl it around on the dough on the floured board a little bit and now back and forth so a little bit towards me and then out towards the window there. You want to try to keep it in a square, an even square. Alright, so that looks good. Get a little bit of flour off my pastry. And now for the good stuff, right? So I've got some pesto here, all extra virgin olive oil with uh, garden basil, some pine nuts, and some cheese. I love making pesto. It really reminds me of summer when I'm making it in the house. Right now we're using some jarred pesto because basil is not in season. But this is very pretty for your holiday table with all the green and the white. So in the cookbook I talk about making it with salami and cheese and here we're doing a vegetarian version with the uh, pesto and cheese. So I've got some pesto all over, a cup of cheese. This is mozzarella cheese. So sprinkling that to the edges and then rolling up my puff dough in a cylinder. So here I'm going to take the edge and just curl it up all the way across and then go back to the right hand side and again pinching it tightly rolling it all the way up now using the palms my open fingertips not too much of my palms because my palms are hot and then you want to have the seam on the bottom tuck in the ends a little bit here we get a little more precise we've got our ruler and I've got the sushi knife so about every half inch so you can see this dough uh, wasn't as big as other pastry dough I've bought, so I only rolled it out to about ten and a half inches. So every half inch, we call that scoring, not marking all the way through, and then really sawing back and forth to get the even, that one fell apart a little bit, sometimes the first one does. Sawing back and forth with a very sh sharp knife. All right, and here I've got my pan ready to go. These are great. Uh, young kids can make these uh, any age. We teach this in the summer class with teenagers. So great little crunchy buttery pastry. So I'm going to keep loading these up and I'll see you in a few minutes. I'll put them in uh, the refrigerator for 15 minutes then a hot oven at 425 for about 8 to 10 minutes. So I'll see you in a few minutes. Hey everybody, we're back and I just put the uh, pesto pinwheels on a beautiful platter that my mom gave me. So one thing when you are having a party and you're plating up your appetizers, it's nice to leave a little border around anything you put on a plate. That way it doesn't fall off easily. And I like to decorate a little bit. We didn't have basil in the garden, but we had some Italian flat leaf parsley. So another thing to do is like three fives and sevens when decorating. So I've got three clusters of 
parsley there. So here's our crispy, crunchy, cheesy pesto pinwheel. It's a great appetizer and I hope you will try these for your next holiday party. And remember, easy artisan. Artisan is cooking small batch food in small batches, high quality, and it doesn't need to be difficult. Enjoy.